Good day. Today we are going to discuss the purchases journal where a business makes use of the perpetual inventory system. When a business purchases inventory on credit, those transactions are recorded in the purchases journal. It is the only transactions recorded in the purchases journal. If a business, for example, purchases a vehicle on credit, it is not recorded in the purchases journal. It is only for inventory purchased on credit. So let's look at an example. Africa Traders, a registered VAT vendor, buys and sells hand sanitizers. The VAT rate is 15%. All goods are sold at a constant markup of 25% and the entity uses the perpetual inventory system. We are given a source document which is an invoice that indicates what was purchased and we are required to use the source document and record the transaction in the applicable subsidiary journal of Africa Traders. What does the source document tell us? It tells us that the invoice was made out to Africa traders by SA dealers. And that means that Africa traders purchased the hand sanitizers. Under the payment method, it is indicated that the purchase was done on account. That means that the purchase of the inventory was done on credit. We can also see the purchase price and the amount for value-added tax that's included. The date of the transaction is also recorded on this invoice. The first step when we want to record a transaction is to identify the affected accounts. In this transaction, the first affected account is trade payables since the inventory was purchased on credit. The second account will be inventory since this business makes use of the perpetual inventory system. We can also see from the example that the business is a registered VAT vendor. Therefore, the VAT input account will also be affected. It is the VAT input account because we can claim the VAT on the purchase back from the South African Revenue Services. In the Trade Payables Control account, we will record the total amount that we owe on this transaction. On the invoice, the total amount owed is indicated as 34,500 Rand. Please also note that this is the amount inclusive of VAT. When we start to record the transaction in the Purchases Journal of Africa Traders, we will start by writing down the document number in the document number column. In this case, it is number 042. In the day column, we will record the date of the transaction, which was the 3rd of February. Under the details column, you will write the name of the supplier from who you bought the inventory. In this example, it is SA Dealers. And then in the Trade Payables Control column, we will write the full amount of 34,500 Rand. In the inventory account, we will record the amount exclusive of VAT. The reason for this is that we as a business will be allowed to claim back the VAT on this transaction from the South African Revenue Services and therefore our actual expense paid or the cost of the inventory we purchased will be the amount exclusive of VAT. Therefore, we will record an amount of 30,000 Rand as given on the invoice as the VAT exclusive amount. If we now look at the purchases journal, you will see that we record an amount of 30,000 Rand in the inventory column. In the VAT input column, we will record an amount of 4,500 Rand since that is the amount indicated on this invoice as the amount for VAT that's included in the transaction. 
If we now go back to our purchases journal, you will see that we record the amount of 4,500 Rand in the VAT input column. If you now look at this purchases journal, you will see the document number, the day, the details, the VAT input amount, the inventory amount, and the trade payables control amount that all corresponds to our original invoice. After watching this short video, you should now be able to take an invoice for a registered VAT vendor and record the purchase of inventory on credit in the purchases journal when a business makes use of the perpetual inventory system. Thank you for watching.